Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're going to be playing For Skoyo with Love. Now, I'm not entirely sure what is going on here, but um, just if I read to you the intro for today's puzzle. Uh, so Skoyo's prompt this week was chosen by Elam Damasi, and it was to draw Skoyo on the Sudoku grid using different lines. Now, GDC, uh, who is the constructor of today's puzzle and is also the inventor of the zipper lines, ended up using it in today's puzzle. So I'm not entirely sure what the prompt thing is about that's happening between the constructor within the constructor community or why the focus is on Skoya today, but he's a fantastic constructor. I'm absolutely happy to say with love. Now trying to represent that in a thumbnail though is quite tough. And I ended up looking up that Skoyo is actually a reading glass manufacturer. So Sleuth, although looking dashing and young there, is out shopping for reading glasses and you can see how it brings some of the items in the background there in focus. Um, not entirely sure why. Maybe he's on the lookout for some special glasses that are, you know, will highlight things to people. Who knows? Anyhow, let's take a look at today's puzzle. Should be highly approachable and a good way of wrapping up the weekend. So, as you can see, for Skoyo, I had to put down with heart because it doesn't show the heart in the particular font I'm using with GDC. Uh, it's a six by six grid, I should have mentioned that. So when I say normal Sudoku rules apply, that really only means place the digits one to six once each in every row, column, and two by three box. So the boxes are vertical this time, but I guess it had to be to fit in the letters. Then we have digits an equal distance to this circled center circled center of a lavender zipper line sum up to the central digit. So I think that's the circle and these are the lavender lines clearly. Okay, so these are the zipper lines. Now the thing to remember about zipper lines is essentially this cell will come up to a value, let's say it's four. Now every set of um, every set of cells that are equal distance away from the center digit have to sum up to the same value. So that could be one, three, and that could be double two, for example, obviously not in the same box, but you get the drift. Now, because they are one, two cells away, one, two cells away, you add them up and you need to make sure it's the same and it's consistent for every part of the zipper line. What else do we have? Every three cell run on a teal modular line contain a digit from one, four, Let's do that. One, four, two, five. Yep. Yeah. And three, six. So it's not necessarily in that order, I'm going to assume. Uh, it could be in any order, but essentially every three cell run must have one of each of these modules. So given this is two, five and three, six, then this would have to be one, four. This is three, six and one, four. This would have to be two, five and so on and so forth. Then we have what else do we have? Digits on the red hollow parity line alternate between odd and even. So if this cell here was two, this would have to be odd, then back to even, two, four, six, and round and round we go. Last but not least, we have the digit in the heart is odd. So this cell here would have to be from one, three, or five. That's all the rules we have for today. So if you wanna join the constructors in some kind of game that I'm not quite sure I follow, Link will be in the description down below for you to do so. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. Right. I really was trying very hard. <laughs> I just picked the wrong zipper line. Not to show how this is going to have to solve. Clearly, a 4 was never going to work because I could have 1, 3, but I can't have two other digits that would actually add up to 4. So at a minimum, this is 5 or 6. Now, if it's five, this will be essentially one, two, three, four, and this would be six. If it's six, well, you can't have a double three, so that would be a three. And three, six is one of our modular, so that, let's explore what that means, actually. So what colors am I going to use for this? So I'm going to reserve blue and orange for parity down here. So I'm going to use green, I'm not even sure the line is visible anymore, red, green, yellow, red. So one thing we know for certain is red 
cannot be 3, 6. I need more colors. I'm not liking this. Okay, let's go with... I'm going to temporarily use blue just to see if I can link these across. So I'm going to use blue this time. I'm going to use purple and orange. Blue, purple, and orange. So the way I think to think about this is... Yeah, so these two, these two are not red. Because essentially, if this is, let's say, 1-4, for example, um, I've used up both cells. So it can't be the 3-6 group. It could be the 2-5 group. I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, it's two of the same modular group. And these two have to be of different groups because I have an orange and a blue, which gives me a 5. Because otherwise, if this is 6, that would be 3, and they're the same group. And then I'm going to end up with the same color and then a third in this cell. So that's five. That's six because the six can't be on the zipper line. Six is either blue or orange. Five is either blue or orange. Red, more importantly, is definitely purple. So purple is red. I don't need that anymore. Question is, how do I link these? Can I link these? In the column, um, where does 6 go in the column? Well, I'm never going to have it on the 5 zipper line because I'm going to have to add up minus 1. So that's nonsense. Can't be halfway up a zipper line because 6, even with a 0, can still add up to, would have still have to add up to 6 and would end up with a duplicate. So the 6 in column 3 has to be in here. And then essentially I would have something like 1, 4, and then 2, 3... So this is either 1, 4, or 2, 3. And therefore, this is either 1, 4, or 2, 3. And if it's... It, it can even be a 3, unfortunately, because I could the 3 is outside the box. So I can have a double 3, for example, or double 3, or double 3. So that's actually quite achievable. Um, let's think about this. What else do we know? Red is 1, 4. We know that because the 5 belongs with a 2, so one of these cells is a 2. The 6 belongs with a 3, so one of these cells is a 3. So this is 2, 3. This is 5, 6, because I've used the 2 and 3 from the modular groups, and these are 1, 4. And I don't know which color is which, but that's progress. Uh, we can... No, we can't. No, no, we can. We can use the parity now. I I don't know how to replace these because I want blue. I'm going to use purple and I want orange. I'm going to use gray. Um, I don't actually know which one's blue and purple. Let's, no, no, yes, I do. That's the whole point. Right, so I need two cells that add up to five. And they have to be a mix of odd and even. It's either one, four or it's two, three. So because I need to have one of each to get to an odd digit, it means in column four, in box two, I actually have two evens. Which means given they alternate, these two can't be even, otherwise I'm going to end up with four even digits in column four. So these have to be odd. This is even, this is even, this is even, and this is odd. And we know that this is odd. Lovely. And we know that this is two or four. Doesn't help me what's what with what's whatever is adding up in here. This is one, three, five. In fact, there's definitely a five on here. Then we have one, two, three, four. So we have a definite three on here. No, we don't have a definite three. We have a don't have a definite anything. We just don't have a five. Then we have one of two. I may have to do some arithmetic in a second. Essentially, these cells, two of these cells, ignore the one that's a five, also add up to five. Because these two cells also add up to five. Interesting. So this would have to be either two, three, or one, four. And then it would, okay, I'm not sure I'm quite getting how this is going to help us, but We'll keep going. These are from 246. 
doesn't stop this from being a four. This could be a, this is not a six. Doesn't stop this from being a four. That would just just be a two. That would be a six. Hmm. And these are right. So six is one of these two cells. Six is definitely in here because it's not on the zipper line, and six is not there, and it's not on the odd digits. So six is there. That is five. That is six which puts six in here with a two, three. I don't know which two, three and places five in here with a two, three. And again, I don't know which two, three. Five now definitely has to be in here somewhere. The thing is, this is one, three, five. So if I can narrow down the five, I think I'll be able to make progress. Sorry, I'm taking a minute to think through this. I'm not sure. Let's think about fives again. So if this is a five, that would be a five. And because there are no fives on the zipper line, there are also no ones. So that five, five, one, and therefore that would be two, three in here. And that would be four, three, that all seems to work. So if the five is on the zipper line in here, I don't seem to have a problem. The five is not on in out off the zipper line in this column, then the one has to be in here. And then that would be one four. So what would cause me trouble? Let me just I, I need to sort of think through this, pardon me. So this will be two five then. And then that would be three, and then that would be another one four. And then that would be two, three, five. This would have to be the three. Okay. Three would be in one of these two alongside this. Yeah, I'm not sure I see where it breaks. so close you can feel like the tension is very much where i am am i gonna to have to pencil mark these to see what's going on two three five two three six maybe the column they're all so different i'm, I'm not sure i see it sorry let me remove this one four in here so i have one more odd digit so I have two odds. I need two evens in here. Just so easily accomplished. You know, I could even have three of them. I don't see the problem with that. You know, six, four, two. Have I read the rules correctly? Yeah, there's no, nothing else to it. I can't see how to use anything other than bifurcation and trying one of the two in here. Come on, Sleuth, what's the trick? Right, so I think this will break. Five, the force of one, the force of four. This would have to be a three. Two. Hang on, and that would be two. And then that would be two, four. So that definitely breaks. Five in here, that would be one, that would be four, that would be two. This would have to be two. This would be three, five. This would be four. This would be one. This I don't see where it breaks. Three, that'll be four. So 
this one, maybe one four. These are going to be one three. And this cell is three or five. This cell is just five, so that's three, four, five. This is a one three pair anyway. That's all the odd digits. I am not sure why this breaks and what I'm missing to help me make any sensible deductions. One, four, we'll put two, three in here and one, four in here. Again, not sure what the problem is. can't imagine that there are two unique solutions. So what I'm going to do is like, have, have I really extracted all the logic? I think I have. Have I done all my Sudokus? No. Sleuth, sleuth, come on. This is two, this is three. I know the parities. I know the, the because I, once I played this a five, it gave me the two and the six. Right. And this is helpful because it tells me there's no three in here. So there's no three on here. So this is one four. And therefore this is two five. And this is one four, not one, not four. This is therefore a two. Kind of kicking myself, but you know, it happens. Bit too often for me though, but it happens. Five, three. Um, this is a two six pair now, okay. Three is in here. Two gave me a five, yeah. Five, two, not fives. This is a one three pair, that's a four, that's a one, that's a four, that's a one, that's a one, that's a four. And if memory serves, I needed a 1, 4, then a 2, 3 somewhere in here. I can't resolve that just yet. This is a 2, 6 pair. This is a 4. This is a 5, which removes this 5. That is a 5 now, which makes the green digit 2, 6, 2, and therefore 3, Six, that four gave me one, four, three, one, three, and two. That was harder than it looked, but a lovely puzzle. I just I can't believe that when I placed that six, I just didn't spot this way earlier. That would have saved a lot of time. Hopefully the, you guys have, and that you enjoyed today's puzzle and video. And I'll see you back for the next one. Bye-bye for now.